Happy Wednesday! It's time to show our new fabric here at Old Town Quilt Shop in Orchid, California. And for those of you who are not in the area, we do have an online website that you can shop 24 hours a day, 7 days a week. And you can also email us or give us a phone call. And if you are lucky enough to be along the Central Coast here in California, then this is where we are located. It's in Old Town Orchid. And our hours are from on Monday from 3 p.m. to 7 p.m. And then Tuesday through Friday, 10 a.m. to 5 p.m. And on Saturday, 10 a.m. to 4 p.m. And we are closed on Sundays. Okay, so here we go. Let's get started with what is new here in the shop. So first from Wyndham, we have Radiance. And Radiance is... Um, we also, I think we probably showed these before, we have the two and a half inch strips. So these are all the colors in, obviously in that line of radiance in the two and a half inch strip um, pack. But then we also have bolts of fabric. So we have the yellow. So these are nice because they're, it's kind of a combination of colors. There's yellows and oranges in here. So it doesn't have to match perfectly and it's got a little something going on in it so that it's not just a plain, um, boring <laughs> fabric. So we have the um, yellow with orange and then we have pink and it has some purple in it and a little blue, um, a little yellow, just a, a few colors dancing around there in the little circles. And then we have blue and that also has some purple and maybe a kind of a greenish color in there. Again, uh, the radiance all has, the radiance is these circles. And then we have the ever popular white on white. So this really is just a white on white with that same uh, design in it. And then we have a, a light um, brown, tan, taupe, whatever you want to call it, <laughs> with the lighter tones in there. So all of them have the, the radiant circles. <laughs> so this is all um, radiance from Wyndham, and we do have the two and a half inch strips that also go with that. So that's that one. Now next we have, from Wyndham, we have some white on whites. So we have first opposites attract. So this is kind of a snowflake like, I don't know if you can see yeah, it in the camera. Snowflakes. Yeah, mm -hmm. so it is a, you know, a white on white and they are snowflakes. And then we have a white on white that's really just um, square dots, I guess, <laughs> if you want to call it that. But anyway, it's, it's um, it just pattern. So it's a white on white pattern. So that one's called Bedrock. And the first one was called Opposites Attract. And then in addition, we also have Blanche. And Blanche is, oh, kind of leafy, it's like leaf clusters. So that's um, Blanche, the white on white. And also we have Spectrum, which is a little more of a, a modern kind of a paint blotchy almost um, effect there. So all of those are white on whites and they're always fun to use. And so all of these are from Wyndham. So Blanche and Spectrum, Bedrock and Opposites Attract, but basically they are white on white. <laughs> and then from Anthology, we have our last shipment of Batik. So we had gotten this entire collection and they came in three different uh, shipments of um, 20, I think 20 volts each. So, it's all called Splendor, so this completes the shipment. So these first ones, this is the, the gray, the brown, and the orange in um, the hibiscus pattern. So this is, uh, you know, a, a gray on kind of a, kind of a creamy, um, creamy gray background. And then you have the darker brown with the, with the lighter um, hibiscus leaves and flowers. And then you have the orange and the yellow. So that's, that's the hibiscus pattern. And then we have, um, I think these are called intersections. Mm -hmm. So we have the purple, and again, it's, you know, it's a batik, so it's kind of a tone on tone, the, the darker purple and the light. And then you have more of a, a teal um, with the light and the dark. 
and then kind of a pinky red, I don't know what you'd call it. Um, salmon. Salmon, okay, salmon um, with, the, with the yellow. So this is intersections. So, and again, you know, if you've been, if you've been watching, then you know that we got um, ones earlier. And this one is kind of the palms. palms, but the, again, the kind of salmon-y, orangey color. And then we have, I've forgotten what this matrix, maybe? Mm -hmm. I don't know. I don't remember. Weave. Oh, I weave. think this is weave. weave. Okay, so this is um, the dark blue and the light blue. And then we have the light, mm, light green and dark green. And then we have the greens and purples and blues, so a little more color variation here. And then you have the yellow, and this is a pretty bright um, yellow. So these are intersection. No, weave. No, weave. I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm going back to the other one. Okay. And um, the palm leaves. And then this one citrus is a citrus slices. slices. So we have the, the darker red. And then we have green, and then we have more of a maroon, mauve color, and then we have fireworks. So this is in the dark blue with the light blue, and then you have the dark green with the light green. So you have fireworks and citrus slices. Okay, then we have seeds <laughs> in the blue. Um, you know, it's a, it's a lighter blue, and then this is even lighter. And then these are petals. Petals. I keep wanting to call them just leaves, but <laughs> I guess they really are petals. So they're, you know, a, a darker, kind of a bluish green, and with a more, this is more of a green. And then this, boy, it's black, I guess. Mm -hmm. This is black, so black with more of the gray. And then you have brown with the lighter brown. So the petals, and so this completes it. So really, you know, in, in every color that they offered it in, we have each one of these designs. <laughs> so that's all from Anthology. It's all from the Splendor collection. And we have all of them. That now completes that, <laughs> that huge shipment that we got. <laughs> Okay, so that's it for the fabric this week. So let's move on to patterns. So we have a new one from Krista Moser. She's the, um, uh, what do you call this? The diamond, the diamond. <laughs> the diamond ruler queen. So this is made with the 60 degree diamond ruler and it's called 1611 Union Street. And I think it's only offered in one size. Lap size, oh. Oh, and there's a wall size. There's a, so there's a, a lap size and a wall size offered in this pattern. So we have that pattern available as well as uh, the um, ruler that's required for that. And then we have from Sally Tomato the Tula Tote. So this is another um, bag, not a biani one, but an, a very nice bag. And it's rather large. <laughs> And it has a sleeve on on, on it for um, suitcase, so you can um, use this as a carry on and, and attach it to your suitcase handle. And let's see, I forget. Does it give the dimensions? It's twenty three and a quarter inches wide, fourteen and a quarter inches high, and six and a quarter inches deep. So it's a pretty good size bag. Um, but to go along with that bag. We have the, it's the Tula Tote, and then the, they have the Tula hardware that goes with that. So this is all hardware now that Sally Tomato is offering th with uh, Tula, Tula Pink. So obviously they're, the hardware is all pink, <laughs> but you could of course do this same hardware in, in something else. So if your bag itself doesn't lend itself to the pink hardware, you could use something else. <laughs> but, but we do have the entire set that goes with the Tula tote in the um, in the the Tula hardware, and then we also have the Tula hardware um, separately. So this is um, a smaller D ring than what is in the Tula tote one, but um, we do have that and the slider buckle 
and the swivel hook. So that's all. Um, and of course, we have these also in the Biani ones, but these are the, the Tula ones that are her signature pink color. And lastly, from Sally Tomato, we have this Ferris bag, and it's available in three sizes. And it's, you know, a fanny pack, although now people don't generally wear it that way. <laughs> They're wearing them, you know, as a crossbody bag. And this is, um, so there are three different sizes, and this one is the medium. So we do have a sample of the medium, and I guess I could put it on, huh? So that you can see what it's like. Yeah, back up. So this is what, <laughs> we go. this is how we're now wearing those fanny packs. <laughs> we're now wearing them here. And so... <laughs> This is what the medium size looks like. So this is um, done in faux leather, which we do have faux leather available. And you, there's a, a variety of, uh, you know, you could do it in cork, you can do it in canvas, you can do it in just regular uh, cotton fabric. Um, there's a lot of choices. And that makes a very handy, handy little bag. Okay, so that is what is new now. We also have some upcoming classes. So one of the ever popular Biani bags, the double zip gear bag, that one is coming up in October, October 19th and 20th. That's a Saturday and Sunday from 10 to four each day. The cost of it is $60, but you will need to purchase the pattern and the supplies that go along with that in order to do the bag. And then because they were so popular, <laughs> We're going to do another uh, sneaker making bat, uh, class. I say we. Stacy will be doing another <laughs> sneaker making class <laughs> in November, November 16th and 17th. And the cost for the class is $40. But the uh, sneaker bottoms <laughs> and the booklet is $75. So that's the kit that you need in order to do it. Now, if you have already made a sneaker and you already have this, we, you know, we will have just these. They think you have to let us know your size so that they can be ordered. And the sizes are all in European sizes, so you have to know your size in European size. <laughs> okay? And this is a sample of a completed, the completed uh, sneakers. They're so cute. And if you have gone on to our, our did you put it on our Facebook? Facebook? Mm, I think so. Pictures of, of what everybody did last time. They really do turn out very cute. It's, it's, they're very well done. So if you are interested in making sneakers <laughs> and having fun with that, so something a little different, um, we, we have that class upcoming. Okay, so all of that can be found on our website. Now one more thing, maybe more than one thing, I don't know. <laughs> but. The Old Orchid Quilt Show, this is sponsored by the two guilds here in Santa Maria, the uh, All-America City Quilt Guild and the uh, Santa Maria Valley Quilt Guild. And so they are using um, our classroom. We clear it out and they, they make it into a quilt show out there. And this um, event is free and it is upcoming. It's very close, 28th. September 28 and 29. On that Saturday, the, that same day, the Chalk Festival is going on here in Old Orchid. So you could do a two for that day. And both of those are free. So the Chalk Festival is free. So that is, you know, art on the on the sidewalk. And kids, uh, you know, if you have little ones, you can come and they can, um, you know, color with the, with the chalk on a, on a little square. But then they have regular, uh, you know, artists that come and do that. So you get a, a little art show out there on the sidewalk, and then you can come in and, and see a quilt show here on our premises. Okay, so, and like I said, both of those events are free. And then, let's see, next week will be the Total. Farmer's Market. Yes. Yes, so next, next Wednesday will be the Farmer's Market here in town. So you don't want to miss that. That's always fun. And anything else? Jelly Roll Day. Jelly Roll Day. Next September week, 21st. 21st. So Jelly Roll Day, that's, you know, a Moda is the, kind of the sponsor of, of that, you know, in that uh, they have coined the term and trademarked the term Jelly Roll. So those are two and a half inch strips. 
So what we have is a, a day that you can come and sell, sew your jelly rolls. We also have the patterns, the free patterns from Moda. So we can um, send you the link or print those out for you, but we do have to charge you for the, <laughs> for the printing. But um, you can sew whatever you want and there is um, a sign up for that day. And it's, the cost is $12. $12. So you can come and sew that day from 10 to four it's a it's a Saturday and um, it's just fun just fun to sew with other people and, and <laughs> sew those jelly rolls <laughs> I'm also sure you have show. jelly rolls at home that you didn't know what to do with so we have some ideas for you and you can come and sew them okay it's also Anything? the air show that weekend oh and the, there's the air show that weekend there's a lot going on this September is usually a very busy month here because truly along the coast September is the summer <laughs> Even though the kids are back in school, we're, we're having the actual summer weather. So we do have um, a lot going on in the area. So um, be sure to come by and don't forget about the quilt show because it's always fun to see what everybody else has done and get some inspiration. So any questions out there? All right, well, thanks for watching and we'll see you next week.